wants to take time everybody wants to do it sharp sharp you want to look a certain way because this is what social media says as the standard welcome back to another video my name is debbie in today's video we are going to be talking about something very interesting so i saw this movie called celebrity the series on netflix it's a k-drama yeah i decided to give like k-drama a chance <laughs> and i'm now hooked this drama is really interesting and it talks about social media influencing social status hierarchy social media and the effect on mental health to be honest i really enjoyed it it's drama it's a clean movie and of course you're yeah, fine guys we're going to be talking about some things that social media makes look normal but actually isn't normal. Let's be having that conversation while I practice my makeup. So I'll be learning how to do my makeup. I want to practice today so that I can show my tutor that. See what I did today. Yeah. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. As much as social media has its good parts, right? It sort of paints an ideal picture of how things is supposed to be when in reality a couple of those things are not right? so let's talk about the first one the pressure to be rich look rich luxurious life aka keeping up with the joneses aka soft life aka luxury lifestyle basically every day on social media we are bombarded with you know this your favorite influencer just got like a luxury apartment so luxury apartment tour in lekki this person is going on exotic vacation you know and this person is unboxing this luxury bag or this luxury item and all that i know you guys are wondering why is she putting a certain powder on primer i learned this hack online actually it says for oily face it's a great technique to do to prep your skin before you like put foundation and i'm like okay and i'll see you setting spray on top we see these things and then we begin to start feeling like this is like how life is supposed to be right because i mean these people are living our dreams they're living our aspiration they're living things that this is what we aspire to right and then in our own lives we begin to feel not content with where we are and start trying to do things just so that we keep up an appearance as well like these people but what we fail to understand is that these people this is like their job right they actually get paid to unbox these items and some of these items are actually gifted to them right they don't necessarily have to buy it or even if they are buying it some of them you don't even know what is going on behind these things you don't know if these people are in depth or anything and that's what that movie showed right i'm not saying every influencer that does this is not authentic and all that yes as much as we have the originals there will definitely be fakes obviously but the point is you staying behind your phone screen comparing your life and trying to keep up an appearance with this stranger on the internet doesn't just make sense in this movie you see suari's friend who she and suari i don't know they were sent to pick up an item and from i think it was a dior store or like this very expensive designer store they were supposed to go there and like pick up an item and this her friend because suari is not on social media but this friend is like on social media now comes and now be taking pictures like in the store as if she is actually buying something right because she wants to post it to put up an appearance that oh she was here you know buying it because once you post it people not actually think you were there to buy stuff not knowing that oh they sent you on an errand to actually go and pick those things you can't afford it but she was doing it because she wanted to put an appearance and that is the same thing that happens real life to a couple of people it's not normal the reality of things is that not everybody can afford that lifestyle 
and it's okay i had to go off camera to apply this foundation because i feel like as i'm talking i don't know I, i'm not used to talking and like doing something so this pressure to keep up a lifestyle doesn't make any sense it's not normal and it's okay to still be building and not be able to afford luxury right now especially if you are even someone in your 20s and it's not like you were born with a silver spoon in your mouth so the second thing i would also want to talk about and point out is this perfect body type so what would you do if you were supposedly as a woman supposed to look like this i mean according to social media standards but somehow you look like this or this or this what do you do will you kill yourself and that's why you see there is now the pressure to change your body because you want to look a certain way forgetting that there are different body types different body shapes different body sizes you now start seeing people trying to do different things just so that they suit this beauty trend it used to be a time that being skinny was the in thing but now it now feels like oh being thick you know is now the in thing who knows two years three years from now what will be the in thing and then when your body naturally is not like this is not curvy and all is not hourglass shape you now start feeling either inadequate you start feeling like oh there's something wrong with me i've had my own fair share of feeling that way i remember complaining to a friend of mine that my hips were not out enough at a point i even started doing squats because i wanted more hips i mean i wanted it out i wanted like an hourglass shape because i mean that's what like they sold to us as the standard is there anything wrong with exercising is there anything wrong with doing gym no there's really nothing wrong with it but my point exactly is let it not be because of social media like you want to fit a certain standard you want to look a certain way because this is what social media says is it is right and that is why you are doing whatever you are doing yes i think going to the gym and doing all those things can help you tone your body help you change you know some things that you want to change I, of course i've seen it i've seen people's gym transformation but those things take time and the thing is that social media is instant nobody wants to take time everybody wants to do it sharp sharp instant instant so you see how we now start doing things that are risky and just really not necessary to be honest i've gone again to add <laughs> to do concealer but yeah let's talk about the rave to have like a flawless skin all the time it's really not normal that your skin is 100 percent perfect all the time funny thing is that when you even check this picture sometimes you see that it's either filtered or edited like it's iphone and sun in reality people actually battle with acne i don't even know what i'm doing i hope i'm doing the right thing but yeah am i saying that oh you should not treat your skin i'm not saying you shouldn't right it's very important i take care of my skin i have skincare products that i get but i get the basics i don't have to buy the most expensive product because this influencer says so or because this is what is popular on social media this is the trend you must have a CeraVe product you don't have to have expensive products to get a clear skin sometimes your skin is looking the way it's looking because you're not getting enough sleep you're not eating well you're, you're stressed the issues of skin is endless so you sitting by your phone and thinking that okay this is how everybody's skin is supposed to be is wrong it isn't really it's important that you know that a flawless skin is not attainable 100 percent of the time while some people genetically have very good skin they are great they are fine they don't battle with acne you that you battle with acne you start comparing yourself no all social media do is gives you like an ideal reality but it is not the reality for many people Please. I feel so good that I'm actually using like, oh, this thing I my eye. Whew. 
so i'm going to do my eyebrows off camera actually because it's going to take that i need concentration for this one you guys why is it that one eyebrow will always look better than the other one like why let's talk about this whole thing of girl boss entrepreneur chic you know bashing nine to five remember hearing someone say your salary is the money that they pay you to forget your dreams or something like that of that sort i've seen a quote like that and in my head i'm like are, are, are we are, are you serious like when in the reality of it not everybody is going to be a business owner not everybody is going to be a full-time entrepreneur not everybody is going to be a content creator or let's even talk about the rise of influencing now and content creation and you know it's now the in thing especially like with my generation gen z everybody wants to be a content creator nobody wants to work again everybody's quitting their nine to five to become like a full-time content creator and all that stuff and you keep seeing these things online every time and you begin to question yourself like me that i'm doing a nine to five like do i have a problem trust me you're very normal because normal people work normal people have a job no i'm not saying they're abnormal load you get but i'm just trying to tell you that there is nothing wrong with you okay so you guys i'm trying to do this chick bone thing not everybody's going to be an entrepreneur not everybody's cut out for that and i feel like the also the pressure of like many people that are billionaires or have money you know they're running a business right and then you now start feeling like okay i'm supposed to be running a business too if i want to amass this kind of world but i don't think that's what you should be doing i think you should be thinking of how to increase your income streams without necessarily quitting your nine to five if you don't have to if you if the lord did not say you should and to be honest i see nine to five as serving so you are serving someone else you are giving value and you are getting money in return for the value you are giving nine to five can be like your mainstream of income while you have something on the side you can even decide not to even have something on the side and just be doing your nine to five and investing your money boss babe girl boss all that stuff is good but do you have to be a full-time entrepreneur no you don't have to be okay since i don't have blush my tutor said i can use do like a brown kind of blush you guys i have like a powder palette and that's like what i'm trying to figure out like to use to do contour and the rest and this is like a nigerian brand actually i just realized that most of the things that i have is nigerian brand i use abor abor i hope i pronounced the name well abor foundation that's what i use i use their setting powder as well i'm representing the nigerian brand he said i should use this and this 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 like the shiny powder and this is like a darker shade so just mix the two you guys the favorite part of my face is actually my lips like i love my lips so much like my lips are always giving like even if i don't do normal makeup and i just put red lipstick ah i'm not even your mate again okay guys my lips is done and i think i'm almost done with this makeup just like the powder part is was remaining last but not the least point i would like to talk about is this thing about constant connectivity having to be always constantly online available responsive like you cannot even take a break sharing everything online like you have to be there if not you are missing out it's not true right it's okay if you do not want to be on any social media platform and you want to live like a private life you can actually enjoy your life without necessarily having to post about it 
all the time it's fine people that post like to post and want to post right someone like me i love posting i love documenting but it doesn't mean that someone that doesn't post or is trying to live a private life doesn't have things going on for them too they have things going on for them usually i feel like it's very important that your life outside social media should be sweeter than what people even see on social media but it's normal it's okay if you want to live a private life okay don't let anybody pressure you period all right guys so this is the final look how did I how did I do? Please call me before my tutors calls me. Let me know what you think. I'm a first timer, so please be nice. Be nice, okay? Social media is great. Social media has changed the lives of many people. We are not disputing that fact. I love social media, right? But I feel like it's important to call these things out so that you are aware and just take it into your conscious mind that not everything is as it seems on social media and you should not be comparing like your life with that of like a stranger on social media because like you are actually living a normal life right you're in your 20s you necessarily do not have all things figured out you're in a process you may not be able to afford all the luxury and all that at this point in time in your life and it's fine it's normal it's okay there's no point keeping up with the johnsons there's no point going into depth because you want to put up an appearance it not help anybody so just live your life okay enjoy social media but just have it at the back of your mind that this is what it is okay and of course see the movie let me know what you guys think about it Do you guys like this kind of videos i think i'm enjoying like the sit down kind of videos but yeah anyway that's that for that so please don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't if you're watching me i don't know why you've not subscribed why we need to get 1000 subscribers okay and of course i'll see you in the next video bye